Hello viewers, you are welcome once again into another edition of Open Heaven Re Reflection, taken from the Open Heaven Devotional, written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Raphael Olorotimi, Pastor of the Living Spring Center, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Tottenham, London. I'm also, by the grace of God, the National Coordinator for Sunday, Adult Sunday School of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, UK. In exactly four days' time, we'll be having our National Teachers' Conference, uh, which is scheduled to take place in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Victory House, Old Kent Road, London. The topic for our discussion today is favor stands you out. And the Bible passage is taken from the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verses 3 and 4. Let not mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. And so find favor and high esteem in the sight of God and man. The memory verse is Romans chapter 9, verse 6. So then, it is not of him who wills, nor of him who runs, but of God who shows mercy. Reflection. The memory verse from our open heaven, daily guide amplifies that it is by the grace of God that we are whatsoever we are today. It is not because of our wisdom or because we are smart. Pastor Adeboye referred to the encounter that Peter and his brother had in the book of Luke, chapter 4, verse 1 to 4, which reads, And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, that he stood by the lake of Gennesaret, and he saw two ships standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. And when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep, and he let them, and let them your necks for a draught. The point to make here is that there were two boats standing by the lake with their frustrated owners washing their nets. But Jesus stepped into that of Peter. What qualified Peter for such a privilege? It was only favor. Favor will surely find you out this season in the name of Jesus. Pastor Adeboye related an experience in the open heaven daily guide today. He was traveling out of Nigeria to Canada some years back and he missed a connecting flight in the UK. A lady who worked for British Airways booked him into the hotel and gave him meal vouchers. Unknown to him, other passengers did not get the same treatment. My prayer for you today is that God will single you out for unmerited favor in the name of Jesus. When others are shown the way out, you shall be shown the way into your blessing in the name of Jesus. We see in the act of favor, the act of God's sovereignty in showing favor to whom he will show favor. Our memory verse says, I will show favor to whom I will show favor. I will have mercy and I will have compassion. And that's also the sovereign will and act of the living God. He purposes in his mind and nobody can stop him. But it is one thing for God to show favor unto us as a human being. It is another to be able to maintain walking in that favor. I pray that the grace of God will increase in our life so that we can walk in God's mighty favor in the name of Jesus. Action point. Oh Lord, let your favor stand me out. Pray for those who once were heading for heaven but are now heading for hell. What is your attitude? 
to us backsliders around you. As Christians, the Bible says those of us who are strong should bear the burden of those who are weak. Let's pray for those who are weak around us. And as we do that, God himself will strengthen us in Jesus' name. It's been nice to be with you. Have a pleasant day. And God bless you.